Jeff, how are you doing? My name is Greg Rokas and I'm a pastor, one of two pastors here at Resurrection Church in Camrose, Alberta. Now, before the virus, this church used to be a very busy place. Um, Sunday mornings started at about 8 o'clock in the morning until 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. There'd be lots of people coming and going. Yeah, being a pastor during this pandemic is difficult. Um, it's really hard when you have a heart for people to not be able to sit with people, you know, to pray with them and to visit. Um, I can't go to the hospital now um, to visit people that are sick. Um, that may be um, here for only a short time and that is very difficult. And not just me, but even their own families aren't allowed to come visit a lot of them. What is God doing in an empty church? You know, I believe that the church isn't um, the building. Some examples of what God is doing that's unexpected. Somebody was telling me just the other day that um, one of, you know, uh, their daughter called. She'd been gone from home for many years at university and called her mom asking for her Bible. She said, I don't know where it is. I think I left it at home when I moved. And I'm realizing that I need God in my life uh, more and more as this unfolds and as things change. And so um, God is using this to call people back to himself that uh, maybe have gone down different paths um, or maybe even people that um, had nothing to do with the church or faith before. And so that is an encouraging thing uh, to hear uh, stories about the way God's bringing people to himself. Are you afraid? Afraid of the pandemic? No, I'm not. I have peace. I, mean, I know that this will pass. I think there's, you know, scripture tells us there's a season for everything, a time for everything, and nothing is new under the sun. And, and I think for that reason, I'm, I'm not fearful of, of what could be or what will come. My peace comes from the faith I have uh, in, in Jesus Christ. Um, he says, uh, he comes to give peace. And so uh, that is where my hope and my faith lie are in him.